so with that, what I'd like to do is I want to show you kind of what Rapid Reconciler looks like and what those DMA AI reports look like inside of the product. Okay. This is the Rapid Reconciler interface with some test data. You can see we have a couple of companies here. Um, we use the model DMA AI to determine what companies, business units, objects, and subsidiaries represent the inventory balance sheet. Okay, so here you can see we value, we, we pull the information from JD Edwards, we get a GL number, we do the CardX calculation uh, based on the model table, and we match it up to see the, the value of inventory, and we do a comparison to see if you're in balance or not. Okay, we also quantify all of the different sources of variance. So anything here that's a non-zero means we need to drill down and take a look at some of the details and try to figure out what's going on. And so it's a pretty slick little process to keep your inventory in balance and just take a lot of the time and manual effort out of doing that. Okay, as part of this product, we have built-in integrity reports and we have our first three here are totally are dedicated to DMA AIs. So the first one is we have a, a DMA AI report just as you've entered them. Okay, so you'll see all, you know, if there's a company zero entry, you'll see it, you'll see the asterisks if you have entered those. Okay, we've added additional columns, the manufacturing, uh, whether they're expense or inventory uh, accounts, table numbers, all, all this type of information that you see which you can export to, to um, Excel pretty easily if you want to review your DMA AIs. The second one is the model table. Now the model table is that 4152 PI, or in our case, we use the 99 doc type here. And here we put in all the geo classes and all the different account numbers that represent this. And then once we have this model all vetted out, what we do is we use the DMA AI integrity to say, okay, now that we have our model table, let's go through each one of the other ones and see if they match or they don't match. Okay, so in this case, hmm, we have a mismatch object account. So you'll see it'll actually point it out to you. So these will need to be reviewed. We have something like net zero review. Well, if you look in 4152 for an IP, the debit and credit come in and out of the same account. So this will actually do nothing on the GL. Is that what you really want? So we have a built-in integrity report, and this report comes in very useful. We've debugged a lot of DMA AIs using this report for our Rapid Reconciler customers. So I just wanted to end the presentation showing you that, you know, we do have a product that does help. Uh, DMA AIs can be quite compl complicated, um, but we have a process that works very well in getting any discrepancies figured out. Now, in here, what we also do is if you overuse the company zero and the asterisk, we build a full set. So we can tell you what's going on discreetly, even though you might use wildcards. So that's something that you would not be able to do with JD Edwards.